This is a quick video on how to use the trace feature in Silhouette Studio. No fluff, no projects, just a bit of instruction that you can refer back to whenever you need it. Hi, I'm Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette and you found your way to Silhouette Success. If you are new around here, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe buttons down below and don't forget the notification bell and we can keep crafting together. Now, if you are ready, let's do this once you're in silhouette studio you want to go up to file merge and find the file that you want to work with this one came in entirely too large so we're going to click on that we're going to adjust the size down to 10 inches enter drag that up to where we can work with it now over on the right hand side you want to find this little icon it looks like a piece of toast Click on that, click on select trace area, and then draw a trace box around the object that you want to trace. It will light up in yellow. Over here is your threshold, and you can adjust that up or down. What you're looking for is nice smooth lines. If you go all the way to 100, you see it's um, it becomes a little bit blurred and smushed together. We don't want that, so let's bring it back down. And then we're going to come down and click on trace. We can move the original image away and you'll see that we have the cut lines for that pair of lips. Now if we click on it, we can come up here and change the color. We can pick a red or we can grab this little eyedropper, click on the original image and it will fill in the exact color. Now it's important when you're tracing to check the editing points to make sure that you have nice smooth lines. So what you wanna do is double click on the traced image. It will bring up these gray dots. Those are your editing points. If you come up to the top, this little S looking thing, you can click on that, that is simplify, and it reduces the number of editing points. That's going to give you a smoother cut. And pull that off to the side. We're gonna work with this bottom one here. We're gonna click on the trace panel we're going to do the same thing. Select trace area, draw a trace box around the image that we want to trace. This time we're going to do trace and detach. Now trace and detach is usually used for print and cut or sublimation. And you can see once I move the original image away, it has cut the actual picture out of it. Now when we go to the send panel, it only has cut lines around the outer edge. Let's go back to design. Now, if we select the trace area, do select trace area again, draw the box around it, and this time we just trace. We can move these parts away. Leave that there. Move these parts away. Now, when we go to the send panel, you'll see that the little bits and pieces on the inside are lit up as well. And now it's good for just a regular cut file. And click on that and change the color. And we're going to move that one out of the way. Let's get rid of that for now. The next thing I wanted to show you is this image here. I pulled this in to show you an example of what you do not want to work with. This image has many different shades of pink in it. The edges are rough and it has holes all throughout the center of it. It's supposed to be a grunge glitter look, which is fine if you are printing, not so much if you're actually cutting. So let's go ahead and select trace area and draw our box around it. You'll see the darker shades of the glitter have lit up. The rest of it has not. So we can adjust our threshold and as we bring our threshold up, more of it gets lit up. We can take it all the way to 100 and trace, move the image away and you'll see when we double click on it, there's about a gazillion editing points. That's going to be an extremely rough cut. Now if we come up here to the simplify button, Click on that, and really nothing happens. 
click it again, and you end up with these red spots. These red dots indicate that there are broken lines in your outline and it is not going to cut correctly. So if you have an image that is just not tracing properly, your best bet is to go ahead and find a different image that will. Let's delete that, work on this last one. We're going to select the trace area. You'll notice that the darker pink has lit up. We're going to trace that. We're not going to move it. We're just going to leave it right in the same spot. Trace it again. This time we're going to bring our threshold up until we have a nice smooth line on the outside. And then we're going to trace. Pull the original image away. Now this part here is our dark pink. We can click on that and change the color. This piece here is going to serve as um, two layers. If we right click on it, we don't have the option to ungroup it, but we can release the compound path. So we're going to click on that. And then we can separate our different pieces. This one is going to be the lighter pink. And these pieces here are going to be white, but we need to select all of them. Right click, group. We will make them white and we can put, well, let's send this one to the back. We can put all of our layers together and it looks just like the original. When you send this to cut, you want it separated. So if we go to send, you can see once it's pulled apart, you can cut one part out of a light pink vinyl. You can cut one part out of the dark pink vinyl and one part out of the white, and then you can layer them all and it will look like the original design. If you're using a Silhouette Studio file, a DFX file, or an SVG, you probably won't need to use the trace feature in Silhouette Studio. The trace feature is more for JPEGs, sometimes PNGs, whenever you need to generate cut lines for your project. If you have found the information in this video helpful, First, go ahead and hit the like button. It helps me out a ton. Second, um, leave a comment below and let me know what you need help with and I will get more no fluff tutorials out as quickly as I can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.